I'm Lori. I'm Cynthia. And this is the technical track at Wednesday Night Hop, June 2019, week three. 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 <laughs> it is the third week. <laughs> and um, we did a little bit of review, and then we went back and we tried to apply what we knew about rock step um, on one versus coming forward on one to a different move, which was the sugar push. So you may have learned your sugar push with the follow stepping in on one, going one, two, three, a four, five, a six. And remember, it's a step, step, triple step, triple step. Step, step, triple step, triple step, right? And we wanted to reemphasize good, sorry, sugar push technique, which was um, using our bodies to change direction and not like really pushing with our arms. So we want to make sure that our bodies are moving forward, moving back, right? And for the follows really being balanced on your own weight and your feet follow your uh, body and you always have very clear where your weight is that makes you very easy to move yeah and so when we have that then we have this moment on the last triple step where we can decide if we're going to do an in on one or a rock step so we could have rock steps sugar pushes rock step triple step triple step rock step triple step triple step rock step triple step triple step forward step, triple step, triple step, forward step, triple step, triple step. So the footwork stays the same, but the connection changes. And the lead needs to really think about that five and six as a time to change that feeling so that the follow knows what's happening on one. Yep. And the follow, you are really balanced and you're ready for uh, whatever it is, but you're not jumping ahead. Yeah. Um, then we did swivels. So if you've never done swivels before, you want to start with your right foot, stepping to the right, and then stepping to the left. So we do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, you want to make sure you're stepping and not keeping split weight, because that's the twist. It's a different dance. <laughs> um, we experimented with using this uh, with a two-hand sort of connection, we took our hips down and back to create a little bit of stretch, and then we had the follow start, um, their swivels going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and I can start moving this forward. So I have a one, two, three, and four, yeah? So that's if I wanted to do a swing out. So it would look like this, hips down and back, and we go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. I did it on the wrong count. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Um, we also experimented with coming in on two. It turns out that I do this on two a lot. <laughs> so if we're having the follows go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two three, a four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're kind of leads, we're sort of like disconnecting our body so that our foot goes back on one, but really we're bringing in on two and then catching on three. Yeah. I think that's what I was So I don't of. feel anything through the one, and so I stay in place until I feel that stretch and that release. This is also shown a lot in Frankie's mule kick, where if he has one, two, one, two, one, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, eight. You also can see it in certain things like kickball changes. One, two, one, two, kickball change, triple step. And it's just sort of delaying asking the follow to come in for just like a count more. And you can play around for exactly when that happens. All right, so that's what we worked on in class this week. See us next week for the finale. Look. <laughs>